Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here, and I have another project using the October Hip Kit. So, I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. Um, so what I did there was I used the texture paste and the star stencil to put some stars over the background. And now I'm using the leftovers from last week's layout when I cut the triangles, and I'm making a, like a giant photo corner. And I'm going to take the this, um, looks like it's a postage edge stamp, I think, or punch, and just put a little decorative edge on that um, orange polka dot cardstock or pattern paper. Um, that's from Ellie's studio, I believe. It's really for the other side is really pretty. It's that bright pink. And now I'm just like bunching up my paper and distressing the edges. Just I really like to give it some texture and some height off the background. I'm using watercolor cardstock because it's slightly cream. It's not like a vanilla color. It's just white with a tiny bit of yellow in it. So it makes a really nice background for these papers that aren't stark white. So I'm just using my glue gun to glue those down. I'm definitely using my glue gun over that texture paste because I don't think that a, a like a regular tape runner would work since it's not flat, you know. And I forgot to put my other photo corner behind, so I had to pull it up really quickly. Luckily, the glue was still hot, so I was able to do that. But that could have been bad. <laughs> so I'm just going to add this. And it doesn't end up being straight, of course, because I'm kind of struggling to even get it down there. So I'm just gluing my layers down. And I've done the same thing, crumpling them up and distressed the edges. I just love these the, to me, I love the Maggie Holmes embellishment um, or die cut pack, but I find um, big, huge die cut packs like that, while I love them, harder to use because there's so many choices. I get so like um, stressed out, I guess, about picking the right embellishment. And I don't know. I just, I, I love them because I love looking at all the pieces and they're so much fun. And sometimes I can grab them and use them like crazy. Um, these past few layouts I've had a hard time using. It has nothing to do with the product or anything. It's totally me. What I haven't had a hard time using at all is the pattern paper. And I think that you can see that in my last couple of layouts, this one and then the last one, that the pattern paper is what is the, you know, highlight aside from the pictures. And these gold word thickers that I cannot get enough of. You know, I thought I was going to love the black Amy Tangerine ones, and I haven't really used them. Um, but these gold ones, I've, I think on every layout I've used them. So I'm just using those really cool, um, Teresa Collins cork, like tile stickers. And I'm going to make the title brother love. Cause that's a picture of my little brother on the bottom. I also used one of those stickers and I think it says, I can't remember what it says. Oh shoot. I don't have my layout in front of me. You'll see in the close ups. I'm just using a little bit of foam adhesive on the back of the R because it's not level because of all that hot glue underneath there. So now I'm going to go through the die cuts and I've also taken one of the 12 by 12 open book sheets and the one that's double sided that has, it's not like three by four or four by six cards. It has like all different types of ephemeral looking things and I can cut it all up um, so that I can use those as ephemera also. I found this little tag and this little squirrel in the um, same color scheme. And I just think those are really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and use those. And this picture was taken on a trip that my family took last year or the year before. So I wanted to incorporate that map somehow because it was a trip and I couldn't figure out quite how to do it. So I decided to get out my um, Martha Stewart heart punch and um, punch just a heart out of it. And if I would have been thinking, I would have used my Ellie Studio stamp that's like my favorite shape heart and trace that out and cut it, but I wasn't thinking about that. So I just placed it right over top of the word brother. And I've also had this thing lately for putting like stickers and titles directly on the pictures. So that's what I did with those. I think it helps it blend. Um, it makes it so that the picture just doesn't kind of like out there floating on its own. I guess it grounds it is the word I'm looking for. I'm trying to use these buttons, but I just can't get them the placement right. I don't know. It's because I kind of left that weird space in the corner. So I'm just going to go with enamel dots because those usually always work for me. 
And then I'm going to take this stamp set, which is also from Ellie's studio, and it has this awesome feather stamp in it, which I love. I'm going to use the gray ink, and because the, there's so much dimension on those pattern papers, it's not going to stamp right because it's not level, which is okay because I kind of I like that look. So I'm um, just doing that. I think that pretty much finishes. Oh, I'm going to use a 0.5 pen to outline the paper. And then what I did that you di can't see is I dropped India ink on it. And on the top left-hand corner, the India ink looks awesome because I was holding it up really high. Um, but in the bottom right-hand corner, I'm not so crazy about how it turns out. So who knows? But anyhow, I think that finishes up the, the layout and I hope you guys are having fun with your kit and I wanted to say to everyone that participated in the online crop I had so much fun and y'all were so awesome I can't believe how many people were there and are still participating in the member forum so even if you don't subscribe to the hip kit go and check it out on Facebook I'll try to put a link below because it's really fun and it's a great little community that we have going there so thanks guys so much for watching remember if you order a kit to use the code craft and Kate for a free paper pad on you have pa pattern paper add-on you have to put the pattern paper add-on in your cart and then enter the code um, also make sure to check out the November kit which is amazing and we have a December documented kit with an album add-on which is this awesome eight and a half by eleven gold and transparent album it's I love the album. It's awesome. Y'all are going to love it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you had a great weekend.